Hey, what's up everybody? Make sure you subscribe to our channel for some awesome fishing content. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a question I get all the time. What is my favorite Alabama rig? What is the best Alabama rig? We're gonna be covering it now. The Hog Farmer Harvester Alabama rig. It is my favorite Alabama rig. I think it's the best A rig on the market. And there's a few reasons why. I'm gonna show you some footage of some fish catches. I'm gonna to explain to you why I love it so much. And uh, even some modifications I do to make sure it is working what I would say most efficiently um, when I'm throwing it. So stay tuned. with the A-ring two fish. Three casts in a row. Big. Oh, let's go! Got him. Oh! Shot and dropped it. Another cute little smolly. We got him. Run! All right, an A rig fish. <laughs> oh, boat flip him. Yeah, boy! Get in the boat, big dog! Oh! Got him? Oh damn, it's a mouth. big ass. Big large mouth, oh! So first things first, I always like a layered rig. What I mean by a layered rig is there's two different layers to it. Um, a few reasons why is I really believe in the more bait fish, the merrier. When those fish are keyed in on balls of bait, it's really hard to be kind of a bigger A-rig. And this A-rig being that it's double layered, I've got one layer of hooks on the front and then also in the back. Another thing that I really, really like about this rig is it is extremely tough. This is the toughest Alabama rig. I do not care. I have legitimately probably caught 50 fish on this rig and no breaks. You cannot say that about any other rig other than maybe a Strike King Titanium. But this rig right here, a lot of guys get wigged out. They're like, man, that's big wire. I don't know if I like it. That's big gauge wire. But I'm here to tell you, no joke. I had a customer a couple years ago catch two fish on the same A-rig. Literally, the wire didn't bend. Everything. He handed the rod to his dad, and his dad caught two giants, like two four-pound largemouth. And we did not have to re-bend the wire of the rig. It is extremely durable. And because it's extremely durable, I can throw heavier weights with it, and I can throw bigger baits. Because the wire is thicker and stronger, I can get away with throwing a little bit of a heavier rig, which is gonna allow it to get to the bottom faster, and allow for me to crank on a little faster and cover more water. So I really like how durable it is and how strong it is because it allows me to fish faster. It allows me to fish the bottom. So I also like too, just the placement of, uh, of the lures. When you bend out the wire, they almost always grab the bottom middle one. And if not, they almost always grab the back period. But what's really unique is you have your, your, your front ones, which sometimes I make teasers, sometimes I make them live. But either way, I'll usually offset the color in the back on this middle one, and they will absolutely throttle it. They get it 99% of the time, and it's just a really, really good rig to set up. It's a really great rig 
to just you can throw the rod strap over it just go down the lake and pick it up and throw it. you don't have to worry about bending it and constantly messing with it and because they're stiffer stronger wires they don't get tangled up with each other as much i very rarely have this lure i mean you got it like i'm bending it to come around that side so this is a great rig uh one of my favorites durable catches them awesome this rig is rocking and rolling ready to throw literally caught fish on it yesterday and some of you may be noticing this wire that i have it comes the hog farmer harvester rig comes with that little that little tie right there that most people tie to but when i'm throwing them i always add this little piece of wire so today i'm going to be rigging up a hog farmer harvester exactly how i like it and exactly how i throw it and these are available at dream catchers fish and supply so you can call us at 828-354-0250 to order i can rig up the whole thing and send them out but i'm gonna modify it show you exactly how i rig it up all right, so first things first, the reason why I tie this wire is I would argue besides getting hung on the bottom, the majority of guys who are throwing A-rigs lose their A-rig casting it off. Now, when they're casting their A-rig off, it snaps and they're like, dang, how'd that happen? Well, what'll happen is when you tie directly to the head of the A-rig, what happens is that line will get caught around the hooks. It'll get caught around the head sometimes the line will swing up under the arms and end up pinching so when you're throwing that a-rig it snaps off because what happens is there's little micro burrs along your fluorocarbon and even on braided line that hook constantly getting wrapped around it is just adding little micro frays and then it builds up enough pressure where you cast it and snap it off so i like adding this this uh this little wire right here it doesn't bend past past uh, the first layer of hooks. And then also, if by some crazy thing it does, check this out, it only goes high enough to where the hook will catch the wire, the hook will not grab the line. So my line stays absolutely uh, sleek and free throughout the longevity of the process. So I just took the Hog Farmer Harvester out of its package. Um, you're gonna need some tooth proof wire. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know what poundage it is. I think it's probably 80 to 150 pounds, but it's about, it's a little bit thinner than the wire diameter uh, on the rig. You're gonna need a barrel tying tool, which is one of these. Something to cut the wire with, which is somewhere. Oh, boom, the other A-Rig was hiding it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make that wire, how I rig it up, everything pretty simple so first things first i'm going to take the wire and get about an eight inch uh eight inch piece of it just cut it with the pliers so just like that i'm going to feed it through the line tie and then i'm going to make a real hard bend right there just like that all right so key right now is taking the pliers and bending it even tighter right around that deal so then i'll hold where the swivel is in the a-rig and bend bend that wire down even more so you can tell that wire is now really really tight on there so then next i take my barrel tying tool i put the piece of wire through that And then the, it has two little teeth and those will twist around and create the tie. So hold the plier, hold that swivel. And then now I'm twisting that deal around to make this a real tight, real tight tie. All right. So twisted it around a few times it's not the cleanest it doesn't have to be right so then i take this tag end here and what i'll do is i'll actually make like a micro uh i won't cut all the way through it but i'll press on it kind of hard and then what i'll do is i'll bend this wire back down and then now i twist the wire just like that 
a nice clean break. It, it's not very sharp, so it won't it won't really burr anything up. But I'll show you what I do. I take a lighter and hot glue, and I'll actually put hot glue on it to make sure it's facing straight. So, right next thing, I've got to create the same kind of bend up here on the top, and this is where an O-ring will go. So I'll take it and bend it around the pliers just like this. So now I made a nice a nice clean circle, a nice loop like that. And then same deal, I'll put this to the top of the barrel tying tool, hold that up there, and then I'm twisting that around. Boom. And just like that, have a leader extension this obviously is going to prevent that hook from grabbing your line and just tearing it up so now I'm going to take hot glue now I'm going to take hot glue and just heat it up and then just put it on there to where this thing's facing straight out boom right there after I've melted the hot glue on it you can see it's almost dry and I'm just gonna hold it there just for a little bit longer make sure it's all the way dry all right so you can tell that wire now is pretty stiff it's gonna always stay up so I'm gonna start bending out these wires to make sure they're good I'm gonna bend the top ones at about a 45 degree angle you know if you can imagine a 90 degree angle coming up like this and out you know so gonna try to bend that at about a 45 degree angle straight out and then make a 90 degree with that one so it's a little bit a little bit more than a 90 degree but that's the thing I mean it takes a lot to bend these wires and that's why I love this rig it is just such a such a strong rig now I'm gonna make this one I'm gonna bend it in line to make try to make a straight line with that guy and I got one more and I'll make it a straight line with this one so there you go just like that that front layer you can see this wire is staying out and when you tie your line to it it'll keep the line off of the hooks it's going to save you so much money doing that but that little bit that little tiny piece of hot glue right there just makes it solid enough and you know this one works the same way so with this last one there's three arms all right i'm going to take the left one it's facing you and bend it out this way and then i'm going to take the middle one bend it straight down where it's going to go almost symmetrically in between these guys and then the right one and bend it out that way obviously so take this one bend it out like that this one bend it like so and then take this last one and bend it straight down so you can see right there everything's pretty symmetrical that right there is just a killer killer money rig and we're going to dial it in with some Kitek 3.3s on some fancy 1 16th ounce heads. The thing with these harvesters is heavy duty. It comes with a heavy duty swivel, the arms are heavy duty, heavy duty blades, uh, the little snaps are heavy duty. I mean everything about this A-Rig is Mac Daddy and that's why I mean chasing big bass in the mountains of Western North Carolina, North Georgia and upstate South Carolina We've got some big smallies. We've got some big spots. And I've just noticed other A-Rigs just don't stand the test of time. And then a lot of guys are like, oh, well, that's so expensive. That's so expensive for an A-Rig. Well, here's the deal. I've literally caught 50 fish on that thing. Uh, maybe even more than that. I've had it. I mean, I've literally had it since last. I've had it since last spring. So, I mean, you know, it's winter time now. I don't foresee me losing it. Of course, you know, here in the next video, I'll probably snap off on like a six or seven pounder and you'll be like oh you lost it but 
the stuff's durable. It lasts. You know, you're gonna buy a Flash Mob Junior. You're gonna buy a Shane's, and I like the Shane's. It, it reels real easy through the water, but just not durable. So everything with this bait right here is durability. This bait is the epitome of what it means to have strong, tough equipment. And this is just big time right here. Some local guys out of Tennessee. It's actually uh, a husband and wife, the Henry family, fancy heads. Man, they're so good. This is 1 16th ounce. I like it. It's got a textured powder coat on it. So it really grips those Kytex good and a little two out hook, pretty good gauge wire. You're not gonna bend out on a giant, but these are the hooks that are absolutely awesome when you're A-rigging. Guys ask me about favorite colors for A-rig, you know, and if you've seen any of the other videos that we've done, I talk about choosing color. For me, it's about light penetration. Is it light outside, like sunny, clear, or is it cloudy, or maybe in between? You know, I mix and match, just being 100%, and I've got three different colors. I've got a rainbow shad, I've got alewife, and a pro blue pearl. You know, I've just got multiple different ones and you know, does it make a big difference? I'm telling you when they get keyed in on those bait fish, sometimes I think they just need to see a big ball of bait fish go by them. I don't think color matters a whole ton, but you know, matching once again, the light, if it's sunny, I want something very natural. If it's cloudy, I want something that's gonna absorb the light and stick out like glow. So I'm gonna mix and match. I've got some Alewife, some Kytec 3.3 and Alewife, and I've got some Kytec 3.3 right here in Pro Blue Red Pearl. So I'm gonna rig this up, finish rigging up this A-rig and get it ready for a guide trip. All right, so everything's all bent out. Everything's really good. I just rigged up seven, right? It's a seven wire rig. I just rigged up seven Kytec 3.3s. Um, what I did was I actually took off the snaps and the swivels on the top layer. And what I'm gonna do is put on uh, O-rings. Owner hyperwire, I like putting an O-ring on uh, up top. Uh, because it shortens up that distance. I mean, that's a whole inch right there from that swivel to the end of that hook. So what I'm doing is I'm shortening um, really the just the distance between this, that O-ring, you know, it's gonna be way, way closer, which is gonna help prevent how many times I'm getting snagged from other lures, right? I'm just trying to make this rig as efficient as possible to continue to catch them like we do. All right. We put the O-rings, the hyperwire O-rings on the top, shorten it up to make sure that bait was closer to the arm. This thing is rocking and rolling. It's ready, real natural colors. I got this thing rigged up for some sunny days coming up. So, I mean, this is just an absolutely awesome rig. It's durable, it's clean, strong, catches them. I've caught just so many fish. I've caught more fish, I think, on that one rig, I think than maybe any other brand of them combined before they break. So, you know, this is a strong Alabama rig. Um, you know, in North Carolina, it's the more the merrier rule. The, the more hooks you have on it, whatever, there's no rule on it, but absolutely great bait, you know, gonna absolutely smash them. And, uh, you know, you saw in the footage, this is the A rig we're throwing. So I wanted to clue everyone in and really show you like, hey, this harvester, this hog farmer harvester is the best A rig. There's some fish to go with it and that's how I'm rigging it up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.